They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In town, Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by. Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. Housewarmings, the outdoor living and fireplace experts. Hello and welcome to the Halloween edition of Tim Farmer's Country <laughs> Kitchen. Scary tonight, isn't it? I'm scared. We got scary pumpkins. We got big scary kushals, which can have a wonderful kushal pie. Let's talk about kushal pie. You know, I talked to a fellow named Mike Smith, and he's the one who started all this. He said, Farmer, you need to do a kushal pie. Well, we got the kushals. We don't have Mike Smith. Sorry, Mike, but thanks for the idea. Now, this thing has been going around for years. I think my mom makes kushal pies. Messy. They're delicious. Also, this one, this recipe comes from Lee Delaney, who mm -hmm. works at KET, who gave me this recipe from Clara May Helpenstein. She lives up around Flemingsburg. This is her old-timey Kusha recipes. Now, something I want to do here, now we got this at Galrines, and it's, Wonderful. oh man, great people, fun times. I got about 50 we, pumpkins. Yeah, we got a bunch of pumpkins. Uh, yeah, got we went crazy stuff. on your shopping though. there. But the thing about a kushaw squash, it's a very interesting kushaw, however you want to say it. It's a really interesting looking, little gordish looking squash. Now, you want to use the neck part of it. I guess right. the seeds are all down in here. And we will save the seeds because we might want to plant right. some next year. So we're going to take this, and the important thing to remember is to use the neck parts. Now, you've we've already made one. Right. That's really good. And this is so big, I want to keep using this. This is one. so big. Let's set this back out of the way and put it over in the pretty pile. And you're going to take this, and we're going to go ahead. The, the recipe that he gave us was for two pies. We're just going to make one. And you have to have a hatchet to get after that. And you know what? People who've tried kushal pie, most of them like it better than pumpkin pie. It smells like pumpkin. It smells cooking. like yeah, pumpkin, I like but it. I don't know. It's a little, to me, it's a little milder and sweeter and Yummier and what was that noise? Did you hear that? Oh, like you know it. what I forgot? It's it's Halloween. There's some weird stuff going on around. Did you lock the doors? I I lock that one, but you know later on, you know it's it's gonna be midnight here in a little while, and I hope nothing gets too freaky around here. But anyhow, we're prepared for anything that happens, even though it is Halloween. We ain't scared. It's close to midnight. We're cooking late. We got some people coming over tomorrow. We got to make some more kushaw pie. So you've got these cut up. Now, right. how much do you want? I mean, how much do you have to have for a pie? We're gonna do one pie, so it says one cup for one pie. One so we'll cup. see if we can get. I think this will get us a cup. We'll gotcha. If we need more, we'll do more. So what do you do from this? We're point gonna on? put this in boiling water and let it boil for probably 20 minutes. Then let we're it gonna get smash nice and it. soft. We're gonna mash it. You're gonna mash, mash it. it. You're gonna That's mash right. it. All right, got it all cut up, ready to go. Take it to the pan. It's gonna be Let's put go. in the pan. It's gonna boil. Right, take it on the enter. Alright, you got your kushaw, kushaw, kushaw. Kushaw. 
and then you're gonna mash it with your masher. So you let that boil just, just enough to get it nice. It's about 20 minutes. You know, it smells like pumpkin, but it's yeah. different. You know, like it's, a got a, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a really interesting. That's it. Just like that, yeah. that easy. We're gonna set it aside now. Okay, so we'll set it aside and let it cool a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then what? What's the rest of your ingredients? All right, we're going to start off with eggs. Eggs. And, and we're going to do two small eggs. These are from the, the chicken coop. Those from our chickens. Thank goodness the possums didn't get those two eggs. And do you want to mix those for us? We need to mix these up I can first. mix those up. That's good. That's good. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? Stop it. You're not scared, are you? No. Give me your I'm not scared look. I heard something I'm sure. All right. Okay, we got now, two. We're gonna just it's, the recipe for two pies says a handful, so let's just put like a couple, what do you think? I'd say that's three heaping tablespoons. We're not gonna put all that. We're gonna put let's put like a tea, a tablespoon of that in. Yeah, sure. and uh, uh, Clara's recipe uh, might bug a lot of people, but I like it. She says a handful of brown sugar. But this is half of hers, so that's we're gonna half, go. We're doing a half recipe for one pie. Let's do that. Let's do a tea, tablespoon. Uh, a heaping. Heaping tablespoon. tablespoon. And now we need a half a cup of sugar. Yep. Sugar. So you want more brown sugar? There's a tiny bit. Lots sugar. of sugar. Put some pepper in there? No. No <laughs> salt either. Sugar. How much sugar? Half a cup. Half a cup. Because we're going to put right. condensed milk in there that's sweet. And if you mm. want to mix all this up. Mix it more? Right. And I'm going to throw a little cinnamon in there too. Right. And we're going to put a half a tablespoon of flour. You just shook. A little bit of cinnamon in there, not much. Yeah, just a little bit. We'll sprinkle the pie. And we're gonna do half. Ooh, a Ooh, it smells good. It's a half a tablespoon flour. Half a tablespoon flour. Flour. One whole uh, cup of condensed milk. But the way she said to do it, she said put half a cup in. And you're gonna mix it. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna put in our kusha, and then we're gonna put then another half a cup, and then it's gotcha. gonna be ready. All right. This stuff is good stuff. So a half a cup condensed milk. Tell you what, this was a good year for the squashes and such. We had, we had, we did zucchini, zucchini, zucchini. We made everything in the world out of zucchini. Mom made a mock apple pie, which was delicious. If you haven't seen that, you know, need to go back and look on uh, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com and look up our zucchini, zucchini, zucchini recipe to see mm -hmm. Mom making a mock apple pie, which That's you good. take the zucchini and you actually cut the meat out of it into apple-sized pieces and flavor like that. It was That's delicious. Good. Good. I would dare you to, to taste the difference. I didn't know. That's good. All right, now we're going to put a cup of our kusha. Cup of kusha. And you're going to go ahead and mix that. All right, and then another half cup. And that's it. Now, you made your own uh, pie dough. We did that. We didn't cheat this time. And tell them just real Grandma's briefly. Grandma's recipe. What, what is that? Well, she puts, I start with about a tablespoon of butter mm -hmm. and a big scoop of Crisco mm -hmm. and sugar and a fork and my flour. I kind of mix it all up and get it crumbly and add water till it's good. And that's it? That's it. And roll it out. That's all right. Which grandma? Grandma Solomon. What do you think? It looks yummy. You see how it looks kind of loose, but it, it, mm -hmm. it turns out perfect. It firms up, doesn't it? All right. Let's get our pie shell out here. We like our squashes, don't we? Yes, we do. And if there's a few lumpies in it, I, I don't mind that. You, you kind of like no, your, I do too. you make a pumpkin pie, and which I did, you call your lumpy pumpkin I don't know if she did pie. this, but I sprinkled some cinnamon on it, mm -hmm. it looks good. And that's it, we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, how, uh, 350? For one hour. For one hour. And we'll check All it. All right, let me open a door for you. Thank you. Shaw pie. pie. Cut me a piece. Let's have a bite. No, it's it's almost midnight. Uh oh. But I ain't scared of nothing. I mean, there, we've heard some weird noises tonight. Yes, we have. But you know. It's strange. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set that right there. Mm. Can I have the first bite? You can. Look how light Ooh. that is. It's not as dark as pumpkin color wise. What do you think? That's good. 
You know, that's good. It's not as strong mm -mm. as pumpkin. It's really light. It's hard to describe. It's like custard. That's what it tastes like mm. to me, like custard. Mmm. That's good. It's almost midnight. You know what? What? As the clock strikes midnight, remember Charlie Brown and Great Pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Watch this. That. Let's see what happens. Oh, Great Pumpkin, you fiendish little ghoul. Let's conjure up some spirits. I hope they're kind of cool. Ow! Ah. Oh, hey. Hey. Priscilla. It's been a while. Uh, where's Linda? Oh, That's yeah. not nice. Oh, my Linda. Where are we? What's going on? Who's Tim Farmer? Who's Tim Farmer? I don't know. Ah! What's up with that, baby? I like it. You like it? All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. This is kind of cool. It makes me hungry. You know what I want? Look, look what I got. Oh, I got yeah. some manners, baby. You know what else I got? I got some peanut butter, baby. You know what mama used to fix me a long time ago? I know. Peanut butter and manners sandwiches. <laughs> and I looked it up on the internet. You know what the internet is, Sulla? What's an internet? Something Al Gore created, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but it's really cool. You can look up anything you want and find anything you want. And I looked up peanut butter and nanner sandwich, and it's delicious. So here's what we're going to do. It involves bacon. It involves a bread. It involves nanners and peanut butter. Now, we're going to turn this on right here, right now. We're going to turn it back a little bit, and we're going to start some bacon. So uh, I'm going to let you do the bacon. Here. Thank you very much. I still want to know who this Tim Farmer cat is. You know him? I heard he's pretty cute. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to... You're going to get Take him? Take him out. <laughs> I know Tim Farmer. How much bacon you want? Keep on going, baby. I like my bacon. A lot of people don't know that when I had a peanut butter nanner sandwich, the nanners were actually fried in the bacon grease. I would proceed to take the bacon out, set it aside, put my nanners in there, in the bacon grease. Hey, what's up with all the Kushals, baby? I don't know. You know, maybe we're in the land of Kushal. I wish I was. In the land of Kushal. Where my favorite quarterback is Terry Bradshaw. Look away. Look away. <laughs> Look away. It's pretty funny. Look away. Look away. Look away. Kushal. Back to the bacon. Brown my bacon, baby, because I like my bacon. All right, now here's what you do, baby. You take your bacon. You take it over here. Put it right here. On a plate. Do you need a banana? They have lots of bacon over in Doryland, baby. Let's cut some nanners. Now, there are times when I, late, late at night, I was craving a peanut butter nanner sandwich. And I'd have a little chef cook on up. Or two. Sometimes three. Is that enough bananas, love? Sometimes four. <laughs> Sometimes five. Is that enough precious? Keep on going, baby. <laughs> Couple more nanners. Nanners and bacon grease. Ain't nothing like it. Have you seen Linda? I don't like Linda. Have you had work done, baby? See, I'm just checking. It's just my natural beauty. You know, if you'll take care of this, if you'll step aside. Here, I'm going to go downstairs and check on little Lisa Marie and see if she's doing all right. If you'll just stand aside there. All right. Be careful. Going downstairs. Oh, Lisa Marie. Open this door, Lisa Marie. Dad, I'm trying to study. I said open this door if you know what's good for you. All right. All right, be good, all right? I'll go back upstairs and help your mama. They usually come back up the stairs backwards. What's got into that girl? She's wearing, and she's got all kinds of eye makeup on. She's wearing her hair all dark. She's wearing chains. These kids nowadays. She listens to really funky music too. That's perfect. Now, nanners are all brown. 
from the bacon grease. Oh, look at that baby. Look at that right there. It's precious. I had to quit eating these. I had to quit eating these back before my comeback special. Lost 27 pounds in two weeks. And I ain't kidding you, so. All right then, now when you get to this point, you're gonna turn this butter. You're gonna turn this on over here and you're gonna put some butter in this pan. How about that, baby? Some crazy, crazy butter. We're gonna take that and get our sandwich ready. If you will, spread me some peanut butter on there. Ooh, thank you very much. Ooh, thank you very much. A little bit more. Not too much or it'll leak out the sides. All right, now we're gonna take our nanners. Go ahead and put me some nanners on here, baby. Oh, Gladys. Gladys loved to make me these. Oh, yeah. Keep them on there, baby. We're gonna take some pieces of bacon. Some sexy, sexy bacon. Put right on top of that. We're gonna put our top on the ceiling. And then, This is a burning, burning hunk of peanut butter jelly sandwich. This is a burning, burning hunk of peanut butter nanner sandwich. Drop her in, Priscilla. Ooh, smash her down. Smash her down. And let her rest for a minute. Flip it over, Priscilla. Let her get browned up just a bit. Look at that right there. Oh. Serve it up, baby. Let me give me a plate. Here is a peanut butter manner sandwich. Let's just... let it cool down just a second and Elvis is gonna take a bite. Expired Elvis loves manner sandwich. Oh Stella. Mmm. Mm. Now we're gonna take a visit with a couple of buddies of mine. And some more. Hi, I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And we're the Moron Brothers. Got a frog in my throat. You know what you got when you got a harmonica player up to your neck and concrete? Not enough concrete. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Let it rain, let it pour, let it rain, hold 
lot more I got them deep river blue Let the rain drive right on Let the waves sweep along I got them deep river blue Oh, and I got them deep river blue Hey, you know, while we took a break, I looked up this Tim Farmer cat who seems to be plastered all over the place. And I found out on Al Gore's internet that he was at Berea. Berea, where they had some cool stuff. Where you could shop and all these guys were making mm -hmm. stuff. It was really, really cool. You want to take a look? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Berea. heard and saw there's still a bunch of people it's late in the day they apparently like barbecue down here they ate everybody's food up what is going on down the hills of Berea here well of course we advertise that uh, you were going to be here cooking and uh, having your the famous hamburger and the barbecue and everybody rushed right down here today because they wanted some of that now let me ask you something how long has this been going on and give us an overview of what this event is for those who might like to come next year when they see this. Well, the Guild itself was established in 1961 uh, here in Berea and the then Governor Bert T. Combs helped us uh, acquisition two train cars uh, from the LNN Railroad. They took those train cars, they turned them into a demonstration car, an exhibit car, they, they actually was pulled on the tracks by Ellen and Railroad train to different parts of Kentucky. And what they did, Tim, is they taught people how to turn wood, how to throw pottery, uh, quilt, carve, all these things. And in the meantime, they were teaching people that, you know, you make these beautiful things, you can actually make money doing this. And out of that came some businesses uh, later on, even the state, you know, established a Kentucky Crafted Program in 1986. So we were really a front runner in the arts. And uh, today, um, we still have craft fairs. In 1967, we had our first craft fair. So uh, back then, it was nothing to have 20,000 people at Indian Fort Theater here. And of course, now we have art fairs everywhere. But we still consider ourselves the premier group because we've been around so long. I'll tell you what, you hit it right. I've never seen so many people in my life as there was this morning. I got reports that it was just packed. It was packed, and I think everybody's pretty happy with sales. Uh, we're very happy with the weather because, as you know, if, if you need rain, you have a fair in Berea. It's just been that way for all these years. So, uh, yeah, we asked for pretty weather, and I think we got it. June 7th and 8th. We'll all be back out here in this woods. So there's one in the spring as well? Yes, yes. And, you're, and you've got to put it on your calendar now. You just gave me a heads up. i got to tell Nikki, though. I did. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was looking on the internet and I saw all this stuff. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen.com. He's got all kinds of good recipes. Check out Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen.com. You'll like it. He also has a Facebook page. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page. It's on this new internet. Which I'm kind of digging, baby. So you're looking hot tonight, baby. Thank you. Yeah, you look kind of like Elvira. We spent a couple nights together back in the 60s. Never mind. Okay, remember, it's all about good times, our good friends, and good eats. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer Country Kitchen. Special thanks to Kentucky Beer Cheese.
and Weisenberger Mill.